Hey gorgeous! Another day, another little travel vlog. <laughs> so on this trip, we ended up going to Rochester, Minnesota. We actually sort of did the spur of the moment. We were planning to go somewhere, but we hadn't decided where until maybe like a day or two before. And we were struggling a bit because it's still winter and there are a lot of places that seem like they'd be fun to go to in nicer weather. And it's, it's hard because we wanna be able to be inside but we also want to explore outside. <laughs> so we ended up, to, I don't remember why we chose Rochester. Um, we had recently gone to Minneapolis and we're like, oh, well, it's sort of another big city. It's just, you know, further away from us. So it's more of a trip. So we should try going there. And we like half planned a couple things to see, but we're like, oh, we'll just wing it. We'll just walk down the streets. We'll find cool stuff just like in Minneapolis. And uh, we were wrong on that one. <laughs> but anyway, we ended up leaving a little late. We tried to ask, my, um, my other friend with a camera if she wanted to join us, but she didn't respond for a while. So we didn't end up getting to Rochester until about like 11.40ish. Our plan was to go to a place called Hollandberry Panakuken and um, get some breakfast or brunch, I guess, at that point. But the parking lot was absolutely packed, so we decided that we were going to go elsewhere. Our other plan was a place called First Meeting Noodle, and I loved this place. This place was totally my jam. So we get there and there is a guy hand making noodles like behind a plexiglass thing. You could see everybody making stuff in the kitchen. So I'm like definitely getting noodles. No rice dishes for me today. And we sit at our table and I didn't notice this at first because I was facing away from it. But Jake was staring over my shoulder and I look and they're playing food videos which are like my guilty pleasure is watching those like Japanese, Korean like food making videos where it's just like a street vendor or someone in a shop and it's just like an hour long video of just kind of noise <laughs> which is funny because I usually don't like the um what's it called the ASMR I usually don't like those but I like watching food being made so I guess I sort of like that specific kind it was really really cool I can't remember the dishes we got I know Jake got something that was pretty similar to pho so he was a little disappointed because he'd wanted something different I know I got a noodle dish with pork belly, which again, I feel like I'm just eating a bunch of pork belly recently. My dish was really, really good. The sauce was great. The noodles were delicious. Everything about it was great. And if I ever went back to Rochester, I would definitely like 100% go there again. That place was fantastic. So moving on from that, I think that was probably the highlight of the trip for me. <laughs> but moving on, we decided to go into Rochester. We... I had a little bit of trouble finding parking. It was free parking that day. We were just having trouble finding a place to actually go. So we finally find a spot and kind of like in the center of town. And we were going to go to, I'd heard a place called the Plumber Building, it had some cool architecture. So we were going to go there. And so we started walking from our car because we were a little distance away. We we're taking videos and pictures of side streets. And on our way there, Jake saw this sort of, um, I don't know, this sculpture. Like it was kind of like a, I don't know, it reminded me of like 12-sided, 20-sided dice where it's kind of stacked on top of each other. And so he walked towards that. So I was like, okay, we'll take a picture of that first and then we'll go to the building. So we go over there and there's like, it's a cute little like area. Like there's an area where like cars couldn't go. I was just walking. And then across from it, there was the Chateau Theater, which was one of the marks we wanted to hit to take pictures of. So we're just like, okay, well, we're here. So we go across the street take some pictures of the Chateau Theater. It was closed. I don't know if you were allowed to go in there anyway, but it was closed at the time, so we just took a picture of the outside. And right next to it was like a little mall called the Galleria. And it was, it was, it felt pretty cold that day. It was windier than it had been on previous trips. So we're like, okay, we're gonna go inside for a little bit. So we walk around this mall and we find out that Rochester has a Skyway system, which we didn't realize, but was actually very nice. So we start walking through the Skyways, just kind of like exploring, seeing what we could find. We weren't really finding too much. We did eventually find a hallway to a library, which had like some colorful um, ceiling tiles and interesting stuff. I know Jake took a few pictures of like, there was a goose, I guess, at the front of the library. He took a picture of that before we ended up wandering back. Well, actually, no, we wandered, we wandered through the library, we wandered down to the bottom, and Jake pointed out the um, there's an art museum there, so like across the street. And so he's like, hey, we should just go to the art museum since it's right here, why not? So we walked across the street to the art museum. They had a cool like Prince Rupert's drop in front of it. Jake, <laughs> Jake called it like the mini bean, like from Chicago. <laughs> Cause it was the same, um, the metal color. 
I don't, I don't know what it's made out of, but it looked the same. It just was in a Prince Edward's drop instead of a bean shape or a cloud or whatever it's supposed to be. So we, <laughs> we were taking pictures of that, having fun in there. And then we went inside the, um, the art museum. It was $5 to go to the art museum. And I think the most interesting thing was when you walk in, there's a big like dr rainbow drapery sort of hanging, like a multicolored drapery. But honestly, like for $5 a piece, I don't think it was worth going. There was not very much there. The space was a little odd, like there were narrow hallways, but I still feel like they could have utilized the space better. Cause there was like a short series on what addiction looks like from like addiction to recovery, but it was just like five pictures just on a wall, like not really showcased at all. And there are a few like lit up panels that the same artist who'd done the draping, she had done that. I think she was actually there, but I sort of just like wandered past. <laughs> and yeah, there was someone, there was one exhibit I thought was really neat where it was a desk and someone had taken pictures of them like walking through parts of like Minneapolis and they just taken pictures like every two seconds with their GoPro and picked like their favorite ones and put them around this room that just looks like an office. I don't think I took any pictures of it, but I thought it was an interesting exhibit. And honestly, that was like, yeah, those two things were the most interesting thing there. And there was not much else. Like there was some stuff, but there really wasn't too much. So I don't know. I'd, I don't know if I'd recommend going there unless they get like a really cool installation or something. They had like a carrot hanging from the ceiling, which I'm sure means something. But I, I don't know. I'm not like, I, I like art, but I'm not going to say I understand art. So I'm more of a history museum person because you can like see the history and stuff like that. But art's also cool. Anyway, so we leave the museum, we go back to the streets, and there really wasn't much to see. We tried to go to the plumber building. The door was actually locked, so we only got a picture of the outside. And then, like, the Mayo Clinic was right there, so we took a few pictures of the Mayo Clinic. But we were honestly, like, a little disappointed because, like I said, we expected kind of, like, a, a hopping place like Minneapolis. But it was, it was more, like, spread out than I anticipated. Like, there, there were tall buildings, but it was, like... I don't know, it just seemed like a flat area with not much, like, to look at. Which, like, no no offense if you, like, love Rochester and you've been to Rochester a bunch. I just, like, it just wasn't what I expected. So we ended up going home, like, stopped at Target, just had, like, a normal rest of the day. But it was, it, I would say, like, first meeting Noodle was very worth it. And, like, the, the Plumber Building did have some cool architecture on it. And... Just wandering around, like it was, I was really grateful that there were skyways. I do think that was a really cool thing. So yeah, definitely not a bad place to visit. Maybe plan ahead more than we did, but we had a good time. So I think that's all I've got for today. So have a good one. Bye. <laughs> yeah. Here's a Jake. Hey Jake, I want to film you in the in the fake bean. Where he is. Bye bye Jake. Bye bye Jake. Bye bye Jake. Jake come back.